Hello everyone. So today I thought I'd share with you an insight. I was reading the Gospels and I was looking at the different ways that Jesus speaks to different people. He doesn't speak to everyone in the same way because everybody is different. And I was thinking about the way I speak to people and I speak to everyone in pretty much the same way. And then I realized in following Jesus that that was wrong. We should be speaking to different people in different ways based on how they are doing. I can't talk to somebody in a very direct, straight way if that person is very sensitive or is grieving. I have to stop and I have to be patient and I have to maybe listen more than I even speak or at least speak with some kind of sensitivity because Jesus did. Jesus was sensitive to the way he spoke to people. Some people he spoke to very directly and he didn't hold back. He did that with the religious leaders who he called hypocrites because they should have known better. But you can't talk to, like that to everybody and Jesus certainly didn't. Look at the woman, the Samaritan woman at the well. Jesus went to her and he began a conversation with her and he didn't get straight to the point. He didn't go direct. He allowed her to share with him her own story even though he already knew it because he said to her go get your husband knowing full well she had had five husbands and that was exactly what she said I haven't got a husband and Jesus said I know you haven't you've, you've had five and the man you're with now he is not your husband but he didn't say it in a judgmental way he didn't say it condemning her in, in any way at all he said it in a very sensitive way because that led to a conversation and he didn't judge her for it and then he went on to explain to her how he wants to satisfy her thirst for love and this water it won't satisfy your thirst for love but if you come to me because i'm god i will and that's what changed her she was transformed by that and it wasn't necessarily just the words he used but he was it was the way he used them we see this many times in the gospels for example we see the man the official of the synagogue he went to Jesus and he told him that his daughter had died and Jesus didn't say a word. He got up and he went. He went to heal her. So in that situation, no words were needed. So sometimes Jesus didn't even speak at all. Anyway, on his way to the, the official's house, he was surrounded by people and there was a woman who pushed through the crowds and touched him and she had a hemorrhage. She'd been bleeding for the last 12 years and he felt power leave him so he turned and the woman was trembling the woman was filled with fear and how did Jesus speak to her he didn't condemn her he didn't shout at her he wasn't even direct with her and he didn't challenge her instead he turned to her and he said daughter be at peace you have been healed powerful Jesus spoke to different people in different ways when Jesus spoke with the Apostles he challenged them he actually said to them how long must I stay with you why don't you believe where is your faith why do you doubt he challenged them and we see also another occasion when a lawyer came to Jesus and said what must I do to inherit eternal life and Jesus started to give him the law because it was a lawyer so Jesus spoke to him in his own language and he gave him the law and he said love the Lord your God with all your heart soul mind and strength and your neighbor as you love yourself this summarizes the law and then he went on to test Jesus and said well who is my neighbor and of course Jesus started to give him the story of the Good Samaritan and at the end of that he asked the lawyer in this case who is the neighbor and he said the Samaritan and he said well what do you think is needed and the answer is obvious mercy and of course lawyers are not known for being very merciful they're known for being very greedy when it comes to money and of course it's all about success success and greed that's what lawyers are known for and so Jesus telling him you need to be merciful but again he didn't do it in a very strict way he didn't do it in a very condescending way he did it in a very he spoke the language of the lawyer he did it in a very sensitive way in this case he was quite sensitive with the lawyer and he and there are times when we can be very insensitive with people but we need to learn from Jesus we have to learn to stop and just see where is this person right now that I'm speaking to is this person grieving is this person in pain is this person suffering even if this person is angry our initial reaction shouldn't be to be angry back I need to defend myself how dare this person speak to me in this way who does he think he is 
Now that's not that's not our initial reaction. Our reaction should be stop, wait. Okay, what's going on in this person? Why is this person so wounded? Why is this person so hurt? Why is this person so angry? And then maybe ask a couple of questions and it won't be long before you get to the root. Okay, this person's just lost somebody. Okay, this person is, has been abused for so long in, in, a, in a horrible marriage. Okay, this person has lost everybody because of sickness or the sickness in this person's life. We just don't know what's going on in a person's life. And yet we talk to everybody in the same way. But Jesus didn't do that. And remember, we are ambassadors of God. That's what St. Paul says. We are ambassadors of God. That means witnesses of God. So when people do come to us, if they know we're Christian, if they know we go to church and we're serious about our faith, then there's a responsibility there for us to be kind, compassionate, considerate, gentle. There is, for us, we have to represent God so that when that person leaves, they leave with God, a taste of God. God has touched them and God is love, which means we have to be loving in our approach. This is not about being a people pleaser. This is about respect because if I'm in pain, I want people to talk to me in a way that's healing and helpful and that's going to make me feel good about myself. I'm not going to want to talk to people who are in that moment argumentative or strict or shouting or cold. I need somebody who's warm and merciful and kind in that moment. But sometimes I'm in the wrong and when I'm in the wrong, I might need to be challenged. I might need to be told, look, what you're doing, it's not right. You shouldn't be doing it but it, without judgment. So that's a gift, and that's the gift of discernment. So we need to pray to God, Lord, I desire the gift of discernment so that I can t talk to people in a way you want me to talk to them, in the way that they need, because I would love if uh, people to talk to me in a respectful way that values me as a human being and values the dignity I have as a child of God. That's how we talk to people. You are a child of God, and I want to talk to you with respect in the same way Jesus would, gentleness and kindness, or challenging and affirming. Sometimes you need to be affirmed and validated, wanted and appreciated. But sometimes you might need to be told off as well. You might be sarcastic and you, it might hurt. And I might need to say, hang on a minute, you're in the wrong, you better stop it because this is not good for our friendship. And so you have to weigh up the situation. You can't just react, you can't just treat everybody in the same way. Because Jesus didn't. I hope that's helpful. Amen.